Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marlene. Welcome to my channel, bitch. As you guys read by the title, today I have for you guys another cheese my story time, um, but another makeup look as well. I was like, you know what, Marlene, sit down, do a little more cheese my. You guys loved my last video where I told you guys about the juicy story. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check that out. But I was like, let me bring some more cheese my to the table, you know, because when I tell you guys I have cheese my, it's because, girl. I got cheese me. <laughs> um, so I'm here back with another story time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. So if you guys are interested in knowing some more tea, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're just gonna jump right into it. You already know the drill. Um, I will be trying to name all the products in the video, but if I do miss a product, then I will be listing everything in the description down below. But it's more of like a cheese me time, you know. If you guys haven't watched my previous cheese mint time, then go check that out because the cheese mint was juicy. But I was just thinking, oh my god, I have this story like in me. I need to let it out. So I always like to start with my serum and then going in with my moisturizer. And the serum I've been using is by Drunk Elephant. Um, it's called the C Firma Day Serum. Um, I know they are a little bit pricey, but their products are really, really good. Um, so if you guys would want to check them out. I will be linking them down below and their moisturizer cream which is the polypeptide cream so good guys um so yeah i use these every morning before i do my makeup my routine hasn't really changed a lot from my previous video but i will i'm gonna try to do eyeshadow today so so i go in with my tatcha the silk canvas primer and i usually do it like around my nose area period so I already went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera just because they do take the longest. So I'm almost like, let me get that out of the way. So we're just going to go in straight with foundation. And the foundation that I've been loving so far is the Frankie Rose foundation. You guys, I've heard so many good things about this foundation. And I was like, I need to get my hands on it because it's a matte finish. It's a matte perfection foundation. I do have a code with them, so I will be listing that as well in the description down below. But enough talking, let's get into the cheese, my guys. Oh my god, bitch. Oh my god, bitch. Are y'all ready? <laughs> because when I tell you guys, you know, I told I think I told you guys in the last video that everything happens to me and it's just so freaking crazy. Um how like I just need Olympia. Like sometimes I just need Olympia. <laughs> um well no, there was a time where I thought that I did need Olympia. And I had told my mom, mom, I think I need Olympia. And she was like, estás bien loca. <laughs> She's like, lo que tienes que hacer es rezar. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to have to backtrack, like, time. Starting from, like, high school. Because this was years ago, guys. So, like, this is an old story. But it's just a juicy story. That I was like, I need to freaking bring it on here and tell you guys. When I graduated high school, um, I was with this guy and let me see i want to name him something again all right i want to name him something because let me see what should we name him francisco <laughs> ew why francisco anyways we're gonna name him francisco point is i was with this guy called francisco and um we were together ending like we started dating because we had already dated but that's another story but we had already dated but we started dating again like when we graduated high school and first i was like like i was like should i date him should i not because he was gonna go far from me and like it was just gonna be like a long distance relationship and amor de lejos amor de pendejos amor de lejos felices los cuatro so i was kind of like oh like debating whether i should or sh i shouldn't but then i was like you know what let me just date him me and this guy lasted, I mean, me and Francisco <laughs> lasted for like a year and a half. Um, the last three months, we were having like a lot of problems. Um, we tried making it work. You know, I would go visit him to where he was at um, in college once in a while. And the last few months of our relationship, we were having like a lot of like trouble, trust issues. He wouldn't trust me. And rumor has it that when your partner starts having trust issues with you is because they're doing something behind your back and they have trust issues that you're going to do the same to them. So I was like, hmm, why is he like not trusting me? Like literally I would go to the cafeteria and eat and he would be like, where you at? With who? Um, 
and I was like, dude, what do you mean with who? Like, with the friends I've always told you I'm with. Like, what else can I possibly be doing? You know what I mean? I was just over it. Like, I was over him always being jealous. I was over, like, me not being able to go out to, like, eat without being questioned. And it was just annoying. So, I got over it. And there... Ya me había desesperado. I had already brought it up to him. Like, you need to stop being so jealous because I'm going to get tired of it. And point is... I, at the time, I just couldn't be the one to, like, break up with someone. It was, like, really hard for me to do it. Um, I don't know why. Like, I felt, like, guilty breaking up with someone. So, I didn't do it. Then, later on, girl, I I don't know how the... F I found out, but I found out. I found out that he started, like, messaging other girls from, like, our hometown... So when I found out out, I already knew. So I questioned him. And obviously, like, guys are, like, they're not smart enough to, like, if you're, if you're asking them something, it's because probably you already know the answer to it. So I remember I confronted him. Pause. Now I'm going to be going on with the Frankie Rose Concealer as well in the color neutral. I have, an, I have another one chai but like i can never because i always like going lighter with my concealer just to brighten it up and i got these two but i don't know which one's like lighter oh okay neutral's lighter so i'm gonna go be going in with neutral i confronted him and i was like you know what like who have you been snapping because it was through snapchat and he was like no one and i was like are you sure you haven't been snapping anyone other than your friends and me myself and i and he was like like i still gave him a chance for him to think about it and be like wait she probably knows something and no he went along with it and he said no no one and i was like hmm and that's when i hit him with the receipts and that's when i hit him with the facts and he was just so shook i was like well you've been snapping this girl and then he was like <gasps> Like, he stood quiet, and that's when I knew he was lying to me. And that's when de ahí me agarré, and I was like, dude, Marlene, just break up with him. Like, he's already been, like, desesperándote with all his jealousy. And now I'm like, wait, that's why he was jealous. Because he was doing shit behind my back. So I was like, you know what? De aquí me agarro, y de aquí I break up with him. So I broke up with him, and I was like, you know what? I don't want anything else to do with you. Like, I don't want you, blah, 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 blah. And then he was telling me, no, que no sé qué. You know, the whole show of, like, don't break up with me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Like, no, you meant it. And you're only sorry you got caught, honey. So don't come at me with that. Now, this is when the story gets juicy. And y'all know when the story gets juicy. So you guys already know the drill. Go get your snacks. Go get your drinks. Go get your hot Cheetos, girl. Because this is where it gets juicy. <laughs> Okay, so at the time that we broke up, my brother had a girlfriend, which is obviously now his ex. Um, and I guess they were having problems. They were together for actually five years, longer than me and Francisco. Um, <laughs> but why did I choose Francisco as his name? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. But um, they were together longer than me and Francisco. So... Okay, I can't take Francisco seriously, guys. I need to change name. I mean, no offense to all Francisco's out there, but like, I need to change names. We should change him to Justin. Justin? Okay, Justin. Because if I keep saying Francisco, I'm just gonna laugh. Okay. Anyways, so they were together longer than me and Justin, and um, they were already having problems as well. But, like, I mean, that's their thing. Like, I've never been the one to get into, like, their, like, my brother's relationship or anything like that. So, that's their thing. They were having problems. Me and Justin had already broke up. So, I was in college. Um, he, Justin was in college. And then my brother at the time was in college. And the girlfriend, I don't know what she was doing, but she was working at the time, I think. Um, or she was in college. I don't remember. Point is, um, they were having problems, and me and her were really close. I mean, well, so I thought, like, we were, I considered her, like, my sister because she was around the family a lot. I mean, five years is a lot, so 
when you're with someone that long like obviously you're bound to like come around the family hang out with them travel with them you know she came to mexico with us um she met the whole family shenanigans all that like stuff um so she was around a lot and i kind of considered her my sister because if you guys don't know like i do have two brothers so i'm the only girl and i've never been like i've never had like a sister relationship so i considered her like my sister like i trusted her with some of my stuff and there was a time where like when i was with um justin like and we would we went to a wedding one time and like all of us were there right my brother his girlfriend i took justin my family was there and just like events like that and so then my brother and her broke up and that was that me and her kept like keeping in touch like here and there um i still had her on instagram um i still had her on el facebook <laughs> like i still had her on social media because like just because she had broken up my with my brother didn't mean that i was gonna stop talking to her you know what i mean so i remember i was in my room and i get a random call and from her from let's call her something we're gonna name her Karina so I get a call from Karina right um Karina Karina all right that was kind of weird because she would never call me it was mostly like through DM through messages text messages and she called me and she was like hey Marlene like you know she was being friendly like obviously because that's how we would get along like hi how you been like I've been great oh my god like nice hearing from you I'm glad you're doing good then she like starts telling me how she was gonna go visit the city where my ex used to go to college and she was like telling me how like she was gonna go with some friends and how he had basically offered justin had offered them to stay at his place just so they wouldn't um waste money on a hotel um which was nice of his part you know i was like oh, okay and she had told me and she's like, yeah, but like, I wanted to let you know because I didn't want it to like be weird. Like, we're just going to stay there and we're going to do our own thing. Like, we're not going to hang around with them because she knew that he was my ex and she knew that we were already broken up. And I was like, no, like, that's fine. Like, I don't mind, you know, I didn't really pay attention to it because like I didn't really care for it. And I didn't really like think anything of it, like anything, like nothing crossed my mind. And then um, from there, like, we just kind of, like, didn't talk anymore, me and her. And then later on on social media, um, I started seeing pictures of, like, her and my ex hanging out. Obviously, her and her friends and then my ex and her his friends hanging out again. And I would see it, like, every other weekend. Meaning that she would go to the city every other weekend. And again, I never thought anything of it. Um like really never thought anything of it guys like um, i was really naive like back in the day and i feel like sometimes i still am naive but i try not to be because now i feel like that i know how people really are um obviously i told you guys that i try to give like the benefit of the doubt of people and just try to see like their positive side but shit always ends up happening um but anyways back to the story so I started seeing like pictures and like I still didn't think anything of it and it wasn't until like one day when I was in the car with like my mom and my little brother and we were watching we were on social media and then um I think it was my little brother that brought it up that he was like oh my god um did you see the picture of Justin and Karina at blah 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 and then I was like what picture like I hadn't seen because I didn't follow I think I followed Karina back in the day I saw the picture and then I told my little brother like oh my god like they've been hanging out a lot lately you know like I think I brought that up and then um I was like it's just crazy how they became friends you know I said that and then my little brother was like or they're more than friends and I was like what I was like wait what like that's that's when the first initial thought came into my head that maybe they were more than friends um but at the time when that thought came into my head i still just didn't want to believe it i was like no dude like there's no way like there's no way that she would do something like that to me so i didn't think anything of it i kind of just ignored it right there when like 
the thought came into my head and I never really thought of it again okay guys so I'm lying I still had him on snapchat um I just don't think I don't know it's been a while so but I know that this is how I found out so I got in sick because this is where it gets good girl um one day I was on snapchat and you know you're like watching people's story and I come across his story and I watched it and it was of her she was in his nap and they were kissing and I was just like <gasps> and it was kind of like their way to tell people that they were together I guess or that they were dating or that they were something and dude let me tell you when that shit slapped me right in the face is because it slapped me right in the face like I wasn't expecting it even though I kind of had an idea of it already I just didn't want to believe it I guess and Oh, Dios mío. Dude, my heart dropped. Like, my heart dropped. At, like, because I just... I, 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 <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Like, it was just crazy. And at the time, like, obviously, like, it got to me. Not much because of him. Because, like, I told you guys, I was already desesperada with him. And, like, I was over his bullshit. But, like, with her, like, it was more like out of all men girl like you decided to go with him out of all men in this world because let me tell you there's a lot of men in this world and you decided to go with him like it was just like unbelievable yeah it was just unbelievable <laughs> like i don't know what else to say i remember when that happened like i started crying and like the first thing i did was call my mom because I just needed my mom to my mom has always been the person to like uplift me whenever I go through a breakup or whenever I go through like hard times and she always reminds me that I'm that bitch still that bitch will forever be that bitch period <laughs> she picked up and she, like she she was like like what's going on que tienes why are you crying and I told her like dude like I just saw a snapchat of Justin and Karina kissing and my mom was like what she was just like Marlene y por eso lloras <laughs> she's like and that's why the fuck you're crying like why are you crying and now and she was like I thought you were over him and I was like I am over him I'm like but the thing is that it's her like I think that was just my coraje like that I never expected it from her that I always kind of defended her with like situations and that I just didn't get the same energy back, that was my coraje. And that's why I like cried and like I was hurt by her. Okay, so now I'm gonna be going in with the Mimosa palette. It's a 16 color shadow palette. And I love it because it has like really, really pretty eyeshadows, like really pinkish. So I'm gonna go in with this little beauty um, palette. So I got brushes from BH Cosmetics and I've always talked about these brushes, but I feel like people, underestimate them um they're really affordable and do the quality is just amazing i remember my first set of brushes was actually from bh cosmetics so um i just love them but i'm gonna be going in with their brush set right now oh they're really pigmented look what the hell and i barely even touched them um but as i was telling you guys when that happened i called my mom whatever and then i also actually told my big brother because he was with karina and he didn't really care like he just obviously he saw me hurting so he was just kind of like oh my god like you know like that sucks but he at the time he was already like moved on so he just told me that that was none of his business that he didn't want to get involved um that yeah it was his ex but like that it was just it didn't concern him and i get it it didn't really concern him and um so yeah guys that happened it was just like crazy to like even like process at the time because you know i was still a little chamaca like i didn't understand why like they were doing that and honestly like i just moved on you know like i mean it wasn't hard to move on from the situation because i wouldn't really see them anyway so it wasn't hard at all um 
but I think it was just like the thought of it, you know? I'm gonna be going in with this color just to darken it up on the sides. Ooh. Come on, pigment. I wanna go in with some shimmer as well, but I'm not sure if I should go in with champagne or with pop. Because this is champagne right here. And then this is pop right here. So I'm like confused. We're going to go in with pop. Sometimes I like doing it with my fingers guys. Because I feel like my fingers like gets more like in there. Like more pigment. So I went ahead and did my eyes already. Um, I'm not sure if I want to add eyeliner. What do you guys think? I think I'm just going to add like a wing liner at the end. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Just like a little cute cat moment. You know what I mean? I'll be doing my eyes off camera and then i'll be right back to finish off the look okay guys so i'm back i already went ahead and applied my lashes um oh my god guys i am loving this look it's giving me very like pink barbie vibe so now i'm gonna go ahead and set my face before i go on with my lips and the setting spray i use is by morphe um so i'm just gonna do that really quick And then for lips, I'm going to be going in with the BH Cosmetics um, in the color Nude. Okay, so once I have my lip liner on, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe lipstick in the color Bare Awe. Now I'm thinking, should I add some gloss just to give it like a pop? What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm going to add some gloss. So I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics So Extra Gloss in the color Rowdy. Yes. Wow, I am in love. Let me take this off. So this is the final look. I am so in love. Like It's like a really pink vibe. But yeah, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my cheese my time. Um, it was just a story that I had. I've been holding on for a minute now. It's been forever. It's been years, actually. Um, I wasn't going to bring it back, but I was like, you know what? Like, that was a really shocking um, episode, telenovela moment of my life. So I wanted to share it with you guys. But if you guys enjoyed the story time, um, do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. And thank you guys so much for 20k subscribers, guys. Like the amount of love you guys are showing is unbelievable, and I am so thankful and grateful for all of you. So thank you guys so much for that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And I was like. I was like, what the hell? Because everything was like happening. You shouldn't like ever. You know, people are capable of everything.